Did you know that you can run system commands using Rust? And you get all of the error handling and all of the other fun stuff that you love from Rust. So we're going to start off with a blank slate. The only thing that we are importing is the process command library from the standard library within Rust. So you don't even have to add anything to your cargo.toml. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a command. So let mute CMD. I'm going to explain why we need to make it mutable here in a second. Command new echo. And then we are going to start building our command out. Dot arg, like and subscribe. And we are going to get dot output dot expect something went that's wrong with the command. Now, let me break it down and explain what's going on here. We are creating a command. It has to be mutable because we are going to actually run the command and that actually operates on the structure itself, the, the structure command. Um, we are creating it and our base input to the command's new function is echo. Echo is going to be the command that we're actually running. Then we are adding arguments here. So this is going to be an argument. We could create more arguments after that. And we are basically stating that we want the output. And if something goes wrong, then we are going to print this out. This expect is basically saying, if something goes wrong, we are going to panic and we are going to print out this error message. So now we are going to grab let out equal to CM. We need to do string from UTF eight lossy because what we get from standard out here in a second is the um, basically the UTF eight vector bytes and we need to convert that over to an actual readable string. So we are going to do CMD dot standard out and we need a pointer to that and we can now print it out. So what we are expecting here is like and subscribe. So let's do CMD output. That should be a string and we get out. So we're going to go over here and run it. And we get like and subscribe. I think my light is falling yet again. That happened last night. Um, so if we get an error here, so let's go ahead and get let error equal to string from UTF 8 lossy and cmd dot standard error. So this will get the standard error output from this command if there is any. So print line cmd error. And we've got ERR. So if we did something like, let's just do LS, we're going to add the argument home, home slash this doesn't exist. Then we should get a standard error output. We get no output in standard out, and then we get the error ls, this doesn't exist, no file or directory. That was the entire light falling that time. I'm going to have to work on my studio setup. So that is basically how you would run a system command. Now this works on any operating system. I'm working on a malware project right now. I know y'all are excited about that. Um, that uses this exact library on the Windows operating system. This is currently running on a Mac. So you can use this on any operating system theoretically. If the command doesn't exist, so if we get foobar, that's when you're going to get your expect panic. So no such file or directory. That's when you're going to have, basically it's trying to run a command that doesn't exist on the system. So that's what you would get if you tried to run like a Linux command on a Windows system in the way that wouldn't actually work. Um, so that is how you run system commands and rest. That's about it. Take it easy. Peace.